good day everyone, Darkness of Stasi, and welcome back to our Pokemon Spork Legendary and Shiny Hunting after game. And in the last episode, we got a decent amount of Legendaries and Mythicals, and we got ourselves a Shiny Latios, Shiny Latios, Shiny Fion, Shiny Manaphy. We haven't checked up on the rest. They could be Shiny for all we know. But now, let us get moving to the next Legendary, which will be a Tapu Lele. It's going to be a bit of a longer one, but... We can do it. We just have to actually no, we have to fly a bunch of places first. I'm sure you guys all remember the uh holiday Pokemon that we had the battle. We're gonna have to become every single one. We're gonna start with the furthest away one, which is the Halloween Esper. Back in Wonky Woods. No, no, no. I, I don't want to be myself. I want to be you. Let's be me again. Yes. What's the name of the game you're playing? It is Pokemon Spork, actually. We beat the game in the uh, last couple episodes, and I figured, you know what? There should be a lot of legendaries in here, so let's try and either A, shiny hunt them, or B, get all of them. And it looks like some of them will be norm the normal. Alright, so now we have to go into the back, and we have to step on this. So this is what this is for. Okay. Now we have to leave again. And we have to go find Holiday, the next Holiday one, which is up in Norrell City. Is the game complete? Yes, the game actually is completed. It has every Pokemon in it up to Zerora so far. There is no Meltan or Metal Metal in it yet, but everything else in it. All right, we'll talk to you. Would you like to be yourself again? No, well, I'm flattered you enjoy being me. I'm not you. All right, we're boy, but now I'm you. The fat Slowking who represents Christmas. But if I remember correctly, up here was Articuno. So since we're already, oh God, this is laggy. We're gonna take it off speed up actually. Snow run. We're gonna go up and we're gonna go beat up this uh, Articuno real quick. So let's go do that and then we can continue our journey to get Tapu Lele. If you want, I could leave you a link to the game in the chat so you can download it and play for yourself. Articuno remembers you. Here we go. Our legendary bird Articuno. Still the same level it was when we helped it out. Or when it helped us out, I guess. Spatial rend. There we go. That's gonna do a decent amount of damage. And we got ourselves an Articuno. That's still one of the ones I actually need to shiny hunt in the games. Alright, uh, let us fly now back to Umira. I guess maybe we could try shiny hunting like Kartana, because that one's an ult the only Ultra Beast we could get multiple of. Alright, run to the back of the gym again. Watch out for that. It's this one, correct? Uh... Oh, 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 we only had to step on it? Really? I didn't have to become them? I want to go back to being that male meow stick, because that was cool. He's a cool color. Yes, I want to be you. Thank you. Who are you? What? Okay. Why is there so many espers? Stop it. Stop appearing, please. I almost trapped ourselves back there. There's no time like the pizza delivery tentacruel. That's not even a tentacruel! And there's time for that. We have to fight this one. Okay. Um, I was honestly hoping this would be easy like Tapu, Bulu, and Feeny were. Ouch! Because Tapu Lele, in my opinion, is the strongest of the Tapus. So the fact that we have to fight it could be trouble. Why aren't we in the one form? Nature Madness. That should bring us down to half health. Yes. Shadow Force. It knows how bulky we are. Alright. 
one shot it. Nice. Not the most bulky of them, but the most strongest. Present. We got Tapu Lele. There we go. I'll we'll leave that bowl of food alone. Now let's get out of here. Wait, can we even get these in case? No, we can't. Um. All right, so that is Tapu Lele down. What's next? Tapu Coco. Become a champion. Oh, that's who he was talking about. Okay. We're not healed. We'll probably want to heal real quick. Can you guys move? I think if only I could walk on all the buildings. <laughs> all right. Thank you for waiting. We restored the full health. There we go. Um, Guardian, we are going to actually fly back. Oh, wait. We're already here. <laughs> we're already in Rayla Jungle. I mean, near Briella Jungle, so we can just talk to this bell and we'll be there. Wow, it's not raining for once? Let's talk to Reiku since we're here. Reiku went somewhere colorful, so Technicolor Forest, I'm guessing. This is creepy. And now you. Congratulations on becoming champion. After a long period of having no champion, I never expected two trainers to take that spot within such a short frame of each other. As I promised, I'll introduce you to a special Pokemon. Meet me in the shrine above us. What's the story of the game? Okay, uh, let's see if I can explain this. So basically, you are a tourist who came to the Seolus region with your sister, and uh, you decide to take on the League, which has a total of 18 gym badges. And once you re get to the second town, you, you're told by this uh, girl that you met in the first town's library to go to the uh, game corner and deal with anybody who will not let you pass, which is when you meet the evil team, Team Portal, which is actually has admins of all these different famous people in the game. And then as you continue on later on, you learn that Team Portal is trying to make a portal to the data vault where they are um, trying to learn all the information on everything and that they need Hoopa's power to get there. And they robbed a hotel for a uh, thing. I know I'm skipping a lot. But then you have the final battle towards the, right before you get your seven, your final gym badge. And then you stop them from going to the data vault. But the guardian in the end still takes uh, the leader to the data vault where she wanted to learn where Seolus is actually wait no she didn't take him to there she took him to where Seolus was because she was looking for Seolus and then after you do the leave challenge you are told you can get, go to space if you become champion which you do but Deoxys is preventing them from going to space so you do that and then you go to space to planet Disco where you meet Seolus Pandora and then you are able to go to Data Vault and meet all these uh, just learn anything you want about the creation of the game and all those things it's a pretty good game, I'd say. Really hard to Nuzlocke. We came really close, though. It's just... We just weren't ready, I to say, I guess. This Pokemon is known as Tapu Koko. The Alola region is composed of four islands along with the Aether Paradise. Each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Tapu Koko is the guardian of Mele Mele Island. But that doesn't mean it can't visit other regions sometime, too. I thought you might like to show Tapu Koko the strength that made you a champion. Tapu Koko go! Alolan Guardian Tapu Koko, bring it on. You're one of the easier Tapus, if you ask me. Alright, it's gonna bring us down to half health. We're gonna Hydro Pump it, which should be boosted. What's the starter Pokemon in the game? Whatever the hell you want it to be, trust me. They have literally almost, they have everything there for starter choices, except legendaries. They have Ultra Beasts, they have Type Null, they have starters, they have freaking rats, they have anything just no legendaries otherwise i'd be running through with uh rayquaza top of coco acknowledges your strength you really are a spectacular trainer all right so who's next Alrighty. We already got Necrozma, so 
Next is Sogalia and Lunala, which are literally the same. I know we know where to get those because we we know where Cosmog's hiding at. So to get Sogalia and Lunala, oh, I didn't know those were here. What do you know? These ones we have to capture Cosmog for and evolve it. So we're probably gonna throw those Cosmogs on our team. We have to go to the Astral Observatory here. It's the time of year where Cosmog gather in the Sun and Moon Shrines again. Oh, well, here's Cresselia. Let's get this one over with while we're here. Lunar Swan Cresselia. One of the first legendaries I actually shiny hunted. Got it really fast, too. First one I actually hunted was... Let's see. If you... Ultra Beasts don't really count, so I can't do that. So the first legendary I got... Hmm, was Groudon. After like 900 encounters, and then I got past my Cresselia. Currently going for Latios. Down goes the Cresselia. I did hit the record button, right? Yeah, we're recording good. Ajai is now level 93. And we got ourselves a Cresselia. So, this here is the Moon Shrine. We will get two Cosmogs from the Moon Shrine and two from the Sun Shrine. Oh, look at them, they're so cute. Kill! Oh, it's one of these. Oh, oh wow, they're even level 5. Nope, we are gonna shiny hunt these Cosmogs. Since we cannot get shiny Cosmog in real game, we're getting four shiny Cosmogs. We're gonna be here a bit, guys. Alrighty. I know what I'm looking for. We're looking for those little pink cheeks on the little Cosmog. I will be throwing... I should have got more Master Balls, thinking about it now. Because we can only catch one with a Master Ball. The rest we'll have to catch some other way. And I know these things probably... Wait, no, they only have Splash. We're good. I was afraid... I was thinking, oh, they're going to have Teleport, too. So we're kind of screwed. No, they just, they just have Splash. All right. Next. Bring on the shiny Cosmog. Come on, Cosmog. We need one of you. We need the one with the red cheeks instead of those blue cheeks. Show me you... Come on, Cosmog. Alright, I have an idea. Cosmog! You're cute. Dang it, that didn't work. I was hoping it'd go blushing. You are adorable! You need to stay out of the bag. Damn it, I thought that one would work for sure. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Quick, guys, what are compliments for Cosmog? We need to make him blush. Um, compliments for Cosmog. Cos compliments for Cosmog. You're so adorable, you deserve to die. Dang it. I, I can't think of any more comments for compliments for Cosmog. Come on, Shaq, you gotta come up with something. <laughs> Alright, I got one. I got one. Cosmog, do you like Pokemon? Cause if you cause I like and rock the way you incineroar Mew Heart. Damn, I thought that worked. No, Cosmog, get in the bag. Alright, fine, I'm talking to a different one. You're ten times more adorable than that other one will ever be. You know that, little Cosmog? Why don't they want to blush? Come on, Manaphy and Fionn and all the others have, were able to be shiny. I'm sure Cosmog can be too. We're not just doing this aimlessly. 
10 bucks we're gonna do we're gonna be doing the same as Lee because Cosmog cannot blush can it the blue is it's blushing all right uh I'm just gonna throw you out front tentacles to make this a little faster hopefully nope it tentacles is pressure too okay uh patters you want to go out so yeah we're gonna be here for a little bit doing uh Solgaleo, Lunala, Cosmo, and Cosmog we are getting shinies of all four of them. Oh, yeah, they could be shinies in real game. That'd be cool. Because Lunala, I have to say, has probably the best shiny of, uh, of all four. Now, why don't you guys in chat, I want to know, what is your favorite shiny Pokemon? Mine actually would have been to be a Mega Rayquaza, which is actually our channel's mascot. It was also one of the very first uh, things. Like, uh, I did a contest for a shiny Rayquaza, and actually, I won the contest somehow and got my hands on a shiny Rayquaza. It's broken as heck. I love it. Shiny Cosmog! It can be shiny! Let's get some shiny hype in the chat for that shiny Cosmog! One down, three to go. That's just Ultra Ball, this one. Wow, they are pretty easy to catch. Alright, got a shiny Cosmog. Three to go. Cosmog, the Nebula Pokemon. Hot Cupcake or Cold Icing? Uh, I don't really know. Yeah, I probably should have called it Nebby. Alright, one more from here. Dang it, I thought we could get it back to back. So now we know Cosmog can be shiny. So let's get ourselves the last three. Alrighty, Cosmog, come on. Compliments for Cosmog. You're so adorable I could. You are so adorable, I could hug you to death. Dang it. Lily wanted to keep you in her bag because she liked you too much. What the hell happened to the music? Something went ding, ding, ding on my headphones. I don't know what the hell that was, but... I don't know if you guys heard it or not. There it is again. Do you guys hear that? What? What is that noise? The... I need to know... Is that this? Because I told this to close long ago. You guys hearing the beeping too? What is making that noise? Is that Twitch making the noise? You guys hear it too, right? I'm not going crazy. What is making that noise? Is it this? Hang on. I think I found it. Here we go. Um, um, give me a sec, guys. I'm trying to fix this. Did that fix? That didn't fix it. Why? What is what is making that beeping noise? There's I'm going crazy then. Cause if you guys don't hear, I can hear it. Maybe it's headphones. Hang on, I'm gonna turn these off real quick. On. Hopefully the dinging is gone. I know I heard it. Use like the headphones or something. Yeah, it's gone now. Just the headphones, I guess. Maybe they're like dying or something. Oh well. Now let's get back to these cosmos. 
We have one, so... We need one more from here. Hmm. Then we'll go to the Sun Shrine and get our possible Solgaleo. And our other one. It all depends on natures, I guess. But we are for sure throwing two of the Cosmogs on the team to get the Solgaleo and Lunala. Then we'll throw another to get Cosmo M. And then one will just stay Cosmog, because it's adorable! Freaking adorable little Cosmogs. I love Cosmog! You're adorable! Come on! Come on, Cosmog. Why are you so adorable? Please. Please, Cosmog. Will you get into my bag? Will you get to my bag, Cosmog? I'd love to have one of you in the bag. Got a nice bag in the shape of lilies. Uh. Shoot, I don't have one, actually. Um. Alright. Well, that one's been shinied out, so maybe this one. What is with these Cosmogs taking forever? Come on, we know you can be shiny. Now, go sparkle. Go sp -do 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 -do. We should probably throw on some, like, shiny hunting music. Instead of having just the game's music in the background. Um. Alright, so here's an idea. We're gonna go into the options. We're gonna turn the music down all the way. Because I got some music that we can use. Alright, let's open up some music. Close that. And, excuse me, but I was not on you guys. You guys will still be able to hear the noises from the game. So, let's see. We'll start with the old... Uh, actually, we'll start right here. Is this on shuffle? I feel like it is. Um, I don't know where this song is, but we'll start here. Oh yeah, you guys can hear that. Let's continue the Cosmog hunt. I might need to turn it up for myself, actually. It's quite quiet, if you ask me. Oh, it is turned up. There we go. Go shiny, right? We already saw one go shiny. Maybe we should go into the sun shrine and get that one as a shiny, then come back and get this annoying bugger as a shiny. Be a friend. You're a literal nightmare to hunt right now. Thanks, dude. Honestly, I just grabbed... I don't know how to get music onto my computer, so I just grabbed music that I have from uh, game files. I don't know what game this is from, to be honest. But if you like the music, you can go check out the original creator of the music, uh, Glitch X City, on YouTube. Come on, Nebby! 
Alright, I think whatever this one is is probably just gonna have to stay Cosmo because it's being a. How's it going? Hey, banana times! It's going good! How about with you? Hopefully, you're up for some long, uh, Cosmog hunting because these Cosmogs are feisty right now. Come on, Cosmog. Neb, neb, nebby! <laughs> Come on, nebby! Alright, somebody. We need to come up with compliments for this thing so it could start blushing again. We already got one to blush. Can we make another blush? What are good, some good compliments? For hey, it's blushing! Shiny Cosmog, number two! Let's capture this bugger. Oh, you're gonna be that one. You're gonna be that one. Can we get some shiny hype in the chat? Oh no, I killed it! <laughs> Rest in pieces! I killed the shiny Cosmog! Nibby! <laughs> oh, I killed it! <laughs> no! I failed the Nibby! <laughs> I am really dumb. Honestly, I thought it was still on bag, but it jumped over the fight. Another shiny Cosmog! Let's redeem this one! <sighs> that would have been nice. We could have had three shiny Cosmogs right now, because we were going for four. <laughs> Alright, you are definitely being Nebby. That's two. We need two more. That was a quick redemption, actually. NANI! <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, let's get these last Cosmogs. Last two from the Sun Shrine. Debbie! Why won't you blush? That there was actually the third shiny I failed now. First was a Frost Lass. I actually caught it. I made it a Frost Lass and all. I then forgot to save my game, went into a, another snow run hunt to go get a shiny Glalie, and I fell asleep and the DS died. Yeah, that's stupid. The second one was a whooper. I actually caught that one too, but then I put it into white 2 for transferring later, and then my white 2 broke. So I have a shiny whooper just waiting on that broken game. Be like, when will you transfer me up? And now we have failed Nebby. I have almost failed a couple legendaries that I've hunted before, like the Kyurem I've almost failed, I've almost failed Heatran, um, what are the ones that I almost failed? There's quite a bit I've almost failed. Beeping is back guys, hold on. What actually is your favorite shiny Pokemon, Banana Times? Shiny Cosmog number three! Technically four. Let's go! It's my headphones. It's like these this little charger thing that's plugged in right here. It it's not working correctly anymore, so like it keeps unplugging itself 
and my headphones are like dying now, so it's like the battery just being like, oh hey, plug me in, I'm dying. I need a new headset. Alright, Cosmog. We got three. Why won't you get caught? Nanioi. Uh oh. Okay, at least it doesn't have. Uh, no, I almost hit Aura Sphere. I almost failed another Cosmog. That ball works. Well. We need, like, nest balls for these things. Yes, we got Shiny Cosmog number three. There we go. One more to go. No, we're not calling you X. You're just gonna be Cosmog. This one. Seems good. Mm -hmm. Alright. Come on, Nebby. What's next? There we go. Nebby. Sparkle. You gotta sparkle, Nebby. Nebby. We would have all four by now if I didn't fail the one. Damn you, Nebby. How long have we hunting? been hunting for Nebby? 32 minutes, and we've only... Eh, uh, no, that wasn't shiny. Rip, Nebby! One experience point, yeah. <laughs> we did it. Only... 11,103 more Nebbies to kill. <laughs> Come on. Maybe it's not blushing because it's scared of all of our, like, nightmare mons. Alright, Verzion. Verzion's nice. Verzion's cool. Here. Are you not scared anymore? I promise, Verzion's nice. Come on, we're out here with the bringer of nightmares and Satan himself. And this thing's, like, super nice. Now, come on. You gotta shine, because you like... Verzion's really nice. Come on. But if you don't shine, I'm gonna have to stab you with the sacred sword, I believe. Yes! We got five shiny cosmos, so that's technically number four. Let's go! Pikachu and Eevee. Uh oh. Alright, we're not gonna fail this one. One, two, three. We got the four shiny cosmogs. We did it, guys! Let's go check them out. There's a PC in here, correct? No, there's not. Alrighty. Let's go check out these four Cosmogs, and we can also check out our other legendaries while we're in here. Oh. Alright, so I guess we'll just start with Necrozma. Sadly, Marshadow was not shiny. Perfect nature, at least. Look at those Eevees. Those are terrible. Okay. Zorar wasn't shiny. Look at that. Worst nature. Actually, that's not that bad. Could be better, though. Magirna, not shiny as well. Registeel, not shiny. Uh, Rock, not shiny. 
Okay. Hoopa wasn't shiny. Top Rafini was not shiny. Look at that, worst nature too. Worst nature for Bulu as well. Articuno is not shiny. Top Lele wasn't shiny. Top of Coca wasn't. Cresselia wasn't. Oh, so we just got the shinies at Cosmog, huh? This is a terrible one to be Solgaleo, so you're not Solgaleo. Alright. You're not a Solgaleo either. So we have our Cosmo, Cosmog and Cosmoam. And we have our Solgaleo and Lunala. So this one's gonna be Cosmog. This one's gonna be uh, either Solgaleo or Lunala. We're gonna take Tentacles off the team. And then we will make this one off, the other one. Sorry, Giratina. Hey, we got some good legendaries now. Sadly, none were shiny except for the ones we just hunted. We'll probably go back to normal game music until we have to shiny hunt another Mon. But for now, let's get the EXP share on one of our Nebbies. Give it to this one. Alright, so what's this one? That's perfect nature. This is defense, so this one becomes Solgaleo. This one's Lunala. Let's quickly save before we lose this stuff with a crash. And pause the music. And let's get our normal game music back up. And let's see what legendary we go for next. If I remember correctly, the next legendary of Alola... I mean, the next legendary of the game would be... Um... Genesect? Volcanion, my bad. That one's easy. You buy a box, don't... Okay. Volcanion's an easy one as well. Good, we need a break from those. Alright, so Volcanion is in the Sea Star Society. Where we got Kyogre and all of them. Probably should've just got, uh... The one while we were here. So we need to go talk to Duncan and get some donuts from him. You're Duncan, right? Back, are you here for your free donuts? Yes, I am. I probably have to put a limit per customer so no one buys them all up at once again. Yeah, you probably should. Alright. Well, like I see you have some donuts. Could I ask you to go in and feed Volcanion? I kind of forgot to go get some donuts for Duncan and now I'm embarrassed to go back. <laughs> Sir, if you don't go inside me again. Volcanion! Volcanion gobbles the donuts. Volcanion seems to want to burn some energy now. Volcanic Donut Volcanion. Alright, let's stab it with our sacred sword. Overheat. Ooh! Fiver is young. Now we should definitely get some good experience from this. Volcanion. Alright, uh, A-Drive is going to be sent out, and we're just going to use Spatial Rend. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. I realize we have like a full team of just not thing. Well, half a team of stuff we just can't even use, so we have to rely on A-Drive, Patterson, and Verizio. Alright, uh... We will Sludge Bomb you this time. Down goes Volcanion. Nebby's gonna get a lot of levels here. Can you get to uh, Cosmo right now, Nebby? Honestly, I think I should have just put one Nebby on the team at a time. So, yeah, this one we're gonna make a Lunala. And I know just how to do it, because I learned. It's kind of different in the game. This Volcanion seems to respect us. We got a Volcanion. We already got Hoopa, so then next is actually Diancy. Oh, this is going to be an even harder one, actually. You thought Volcanion was hard. Oh, ho, ho. Let's wait till you guys see Diancy. Why haven't I just flown? Alright, so it looks like we have to actually go back to Mount Spoon. Ah, can't see. Um, we're gonna heal in here. 
I guess while we're there, we can also get Reg Ice and uh, the. Yeah, just the Reg Ice. Because I know he's there as well. So, yeah, this one's gonna be probably one of the hardest ones that we're gonna be getting this whole thing. So let's talk to Regice. Regice is sleeping in bed. Never mind, we can't get it somehow. Some dumb reason. Hello, Diancy. We're gonna want A drive out, because just saying we have to fight this thing. It seems like Diancy wants to battle you in its mega form. Here we go. Mega Diancy, sending out Diancy. Deposing Diancy's Diancite reacts to the mega ring of Diancy. Because somehow Diancy can mega evolve itself. Hey, Dark Draconic, welcome to the legendary grabbing and also shiny hunting of some legendaries. You're just in time to witness us getting a Diancy. And we got a Diancy. Ooh. Is a shiny good? Shinies are really cool looking. They are basically the same. I just tend to use them a lot because, you know, shinies. It's like an achievement. Hence the title down below. I mean, the tag down below. Achievement hunting. Alright. Oh, yeah, here. There's a Dialga here, actually. If I remember correctly. Let's go quickly grab this thing. There's the 14th gym leader. You must be our new champion. Congratulations. The interactive history of Seolus is up and running again. So if you'd like a tour, just follow me. Seolus is the most recent region in this, on this planet to be populated by humans. Not even 600 years ago, only Pokemon inhabit Seolus. The Manaphy and Fion colony, living where the Sea Star Society is now, have been here the longest. The Combi Hive of the Forest of Feelings are second after them. Both of them are among the largest and most pr pros pros to per perfect Pokemon civilizations in the region. Reading from the data vault, the Guardian found it interesting that this was the only region that had no humans. They decided to visit it, and like here, they would continue to use it as a hangout spot and developed an attachment to it. The Guardian would also keep an eye on it in the data vault in case something interesting happened one day. And something interesting did happen. The Sea Stars, originally a nomadic civilization, decided to settle down in the waters of the region. Zeolus was made the head of the society since he helped out the most in getting everything organized. They made sure to respect and not interfere with the Manaphy and Fion colony, who were there before them. The Guardian met the Sea Stars while they were getting settled in and made friends with them. It would be some time after that when humans arrived. They started building cities and towns when they mapped out roughly half of it, the region. At this point, they had not yet discovered the underwater society of the Sea Stars. By the time they did, humans had created their own problems with the region. The rogues formed once people started settling in. They wanted to be the ones that ran the region. Many of them weren't happy on how things were run in the home region. In their home regions, they wanted to make this new region a place they saw as good. They could be considered similar to a Lola's Team Skull who rebelled against tradition they didn't agree with and expectations they couldn't meet. But the rogues were a lot more organized than Team Skull. They quickly gained a large following of both allies and enemies. For a while, the battles between the rogues and anti-rogues seemed evenly matched. Over time, however, the rogues started to lose favor with some of their members, including high-ranking ones. The rogues wanted to start their operation as soon as possible. If they started... Uh, after a government was already established, they'd have to topple that. But to the rest of the people, the rogues were starting a fight unprovoked. The settlers hadn't even started thinking about government yet. They were still exploring and building. Some ex-rogues realized that the rogues were doing exactly what they claimed to be against. The Guardian originally saw the rogues as a problem for the humans to solve, but as the battle progressed, wondered if that was the best mindset. Through Litwick, the Guardian was able to help convince some of them to quit, and they started to take direction action, direct actions too, enlisting Drew as an assistant. Not everyone joined the rogue 
Romans because they thought they'd be making the region a better place. Some of them were bribed. The people who believed in the rogue's vision were uneasy about using bribes. They knew the bribed would jump ship if they started sinking instead of helping to repair it. But they needed as many allies as they could get. When the rogues started losing, many of their members they bribed did in fact leave. Brutus stayed because he was bribed not with money, but with battle opportunities. The more the rogues were backed into a corner, the harder they had to fight. Even on the brink of defeat, they had one last mission in mind. By the time humans found the Caesar Society, the battle with the rogues was almost over. Kayla, leader of the anti-rogue faction, wanted to discuss forming a Pokemon League with the Sea Stars after learning they were trainers too. At the same time, a squad led by Brutus was sent down to the Sea Star Society to cause trouble. Thanks to Kayla and Seals, they failed spectacularly. Brutus was defeated at the lighthouse in the community section, and the rogues officially surrendered shortly after. Many of the rogues returned to their home regions out of shame. Brutus stayed, but didn't feel any less shame than those who left. He asked for future generations to know as little about his involvement as possible. Once the aftermath of the rogue situation was dealt with, Kayla talked to Seals about forming a league, and Seals agreed. Gym leader applicants were tested, and after there was a leader for every type, those with the highest win rates in the beta were prompt to Elite Four. Those were Arnalda, Tristan, Seamus, and Peach, who all still hold their positions. New leaders were found in their, for their types, and the league opened to the public. Whoever became the first champion would have the region named after them, and that ended up being Seolus. On Seolus' first attempt at challenging the Elite Four, he tied with Peach, which wasn't considered a victory for him. He won on his second attempt. The league attracted more visitors from outside the region. There were many challengers, but none managed to do what Seolus did. This was the state of the league for a while until Seolus resigned. After hearing people tell stories from other regions, he decided he wanted to travel. He visited many regions, but even when he returned, his position was vacant. But he only returned to tell the sea stars he was going somewhere else. The Guardian had offered him a trip to another planet, and Seolus enthusiastically agreed. Though all he said to the sea stars was that he wasn't it wasn't another region. Ivan had made the new Ivan was made the new representative representative of the Sea Star Society for and for a long time still, no one would take Seal's champion position. Until recent events, that is. At this time there was com it was common for people to wonder where Seolus was and what he was doing. Pandora formed an organization called Team Portal to find this out. The plan was to use Hoopa's hyperspace travel to reach the data bolt and find out from there. She had missed followers and resources as they did everything they could to find the answers they sought. Not just Pandora, but all of Team Portal members as individuals. Annie, head of space research and travel in SEALs, had wanted to go to space for a long time. When this finally seemed possible, the shuttle and space team was on was attacked by a group of Deoxys. The space team had to retreat, but the Deoxys followed, fixated on Area S1's meteorite. Annie vowed to get stronger in order to deal with it, anything that might happen in space. After a long journey, Annie did manage to become a champion. Annie was surprised but confident that space was a possibility for real this time. Being the first to become champion since Seolus resigned, it was big news. The Guardian even told Seolus on Disco. The conclusion of Annie's league challenge had unfortunate consequences though. While Tristan was at the league to take Annie's challenge, Team Portal attacked the underwater hotel and found Hoopa's bottle. This was Team Portal's boldest and most publicized move, and was covered just as much as Annie becoming champion was. Black held him off until Tristan arrived. Tristan decided to let Quinn, the admin in charge of the attacks, go, not realizing what the bottle was. After becoming champion, Annie sent, went to visit the CSR Society. Brutus also visited to come clean about his past with the roads and try to atone for it. Both of them gave speeches at the CSR Shrine. Brutus decided to learn more about the CSR are breaking guys as black and emily reached the end of their gym challenges the final battle against team portal was approaching with kayla planning out everything one's rules the entire league and other important figures and Silas stormed team portal's hq 
At the climax of the battle, Black, Emily, Crolia, Wendy, and Kayla confronted Pandora in her room. Pandora explained her motives and made one last stand where she was defeated by Black. This defeat disappointed Pandora, but didn't discourage her. The portal was already open. To her surprise, however, the portal took her to the Syrian desert, not to the Data Vault. The Guardian explained why her plan would never have worked to begin with. Then they addressed Team Portal's admins individually about their goals. At this, they confirmed Pandora's hypothesis that Seals is somewhere else in the universe and took Pandora there. After Team Portal's defeat, Black and Emily got their final badge and went on to challenge the Elite Four. Both of them made it to the Champion's Chamber, where they battled to see who would face Annie. Black was victorious, both against Emily and Annie, and so Black became Seals' third champion. With the condition of the deal met, they were sent out to Area S1 with Corolia. After managing to calm down the Deoxys, the group set out to space, landing on planet Disco. On Disco, they found the Guardian with Pandora and Seolus soon after. Disco was getting ready for the Space Jam, during which Black battled Seolus and won. After they came back to Seolus, Seolus gave a speech at the Sea Star Shrine announcing his return. Pandora decided that Team Portal would continue to exist, but as a group of friends. And it's the history of Seolus up to the present day. You've reached the end of the exhibit. There probably wasn't anyone there that you didn't already know, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Before you leave, though, I'd like to battle you. All this work, just to battle history expert Dialga. The Battle of the Century. Palkia versus Dialga. Only for Palkia to practically one shot. Oh. Whoa. Never mind. For Palkia to get one shotted by Dialga. Well, we already know how this battle's gonna end. Patters is gonna go in and be like, Yeah, screw you. This garden is for everyone. Shadow Ball it. And you're dead. Not exactly how the movie went, but close enough. What did you guys say? Nebby should evolve soon. This was a battle for the history books. When you first set out on your vacation here, did you imagine you'd become a part of history? Probably not. Most people don't. But that makes it more amazing, don't you think? If it's alright with you, I'd like to fight by your side. I hate Dialga. That was, Dialga's actually the longest shiny hunt I have up to this day. It took me 2,405 encounters just to get that Dialga to appear shiny. So that was quite the long hunt. Alright, so who's next? We have... Zygarde. Had to become a champion, you can find Zygarde's... Uh, oh. Yeah, we're not gonna get that perfect Zygarde or 50% Zygarde. We'll just stick to the 10%. Because to get the other percents, it actually evolves into them at the levels. It evolves into 50% at 50, and then... Not level 50, and then 100% at level 100. To... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You obtain Zygarde. Okay, that one was easier. Who's next? Wyvatal. I've become champion. Go. Should I stand in front? Oh, should I mention this here? How's it going? Okay. I know where we're going. I'll probably want to heal while we're there. We're going back to Old Adrol. How long has this video been going for? 53 minutes. Okay, after this legendary, we will... Go... And we will stop the recording of this video. And then we'll actually continue all this shiny stuff tomorrow. The Shinies and Legendaries tomorrow. Hi Black, congratulations on becoming champion. I came here once I come here once in a while to revisit old memories. By the way, did you know there's a hidden section in the valley? If you're interested, follow me to the river in the northeast of where we are right now. Leave me alone, Murkrow. Alright, uh, leave me alone! I don't want to find any shinies. Shinies I'm looking for are the legendaries. <laughs> second, I thought that was a shiny. I was about to be mad. Then we could have had this one as shiny. Is this it? I never came up here. There's Dark Pulse! 
Now we can teach Dark Ride Dark Pulse. There you go, Patters. We will give you that in place of... Let's see, 80, 90, 80, 90. I guess in place of Shadow Ball. There we go. It looks like there's just trees back here, but if you climb them, you can see an opening nearby. This is Wyvatal. Even though I open, I thought I knew everything about Opaque Valley when I lived here. It took me a while to find this place. It wasn't until a revisit after I moved to Crimson Path with Belladonna that I stumbled upon it. I managed to earn Wyvatal's trust. Since you're our champion now, maybe you could do the same. Wyvern Wyvatal. Here we go. Can we one-shot it? No, but we can two-shot it. Down goes the Wyvatal. Ah! We got Wyvatal. It seems like Wyvatal is really impressed with your battling, and it's not hard to see why. I'm going back home now. I'll see you later. It was fun watching the battle. Alright. Yeah, my headphones are dying. I get it. So I'm actually going to end this episode here. And I want to thank you all very much for watching. We've streamed for four hours. My god. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up over there. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down there. And if you're new to the Twitch and enjoyed these, this stream, why not hit the follow button up there? It really helps out. Thank you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. And for you guys on Twitch, I'll see you all in tomorrow's stream, where we will finish the legendaries of Pokemon Spork and talk about the next game we'll be doing. Bye-bye.